Environment Matters is sponsored by your Washington area Toyota dealers and Washington Gas. A recent first of its kind study assessing every kind of tree native to the United States found that between 11 and 16 percent of trees are threatened with extinction. Meteorologist Caitlin McGrath joins us now with more on what's being done to protect our precious trees. Hey, Caitlin. Hey there, Lorenzo. The study was done across the lower 48 United States over the past five years, and it was a collaboration of multiple different organizations throughout the US and even a few global contributors. And the result was a better understanding of the state of our native trees and a starting point to work off of to protect them. And I took Eco9 to the United States Botanic Garden to learn more. We can't protect what we don't know about, and so we really have to have a baseline of understanding of what things are at risk. Researchers studied the extinction risk, patterns of geographic and taxonomic diversity, and leading threats facing tree species. The most common threat is invasive and problematic pests and diseases. As we have warmer climates in our northern parts of our country, we see some of these invasive insects being able to go further north to attack more trees. Take, for example, the emerald ash borer first found in Michigan. Early projections when it was first discovered were that it wouldn't make it into Canada. And now with climate change, the projections are that it will become uh, more widespread in Canada and certainly in the northern United States. Additional climate change threats include worsening drought conditions in parts of the country, widespread and longer lasting wildfires, and more intense storms with heavy rain. Other stressors for trees include development and agriculture. What we've identified is the species that are most at risk, and we're also looking at some habitats that are most at risk. So some of these areas in coastal environments, for example, that are under threat for development, and thinking about ways that we can conserve plants, both from a land perspective, but also looking at what can we do for individual species that are really at risk. One thing they can do is naturally protect their habitat but they're also working to put at-risk trees in living collections, places like botanic gardens and arboretums. Through the study, researchers found that there are currently 17 species of trees not found in living collections that need to find a new home. This is the Franklin tree or Franklinia altamaha, and it is a tree that is native to the state of Georgia. It was collected in the 1800s, and it's never been seen again in the wild. Now it's found in over 100 living collections, an encouraging success story when you consider what is at risk if we lose threatened trees. Our livelihood, the environment, uh, you know, trees are uh, one of the most important organisms um, when it comes to our, um, the health of our natural environments here in the United States. And to ensure the continued protection of endangered tree species, researchers intend to redo this assessment about every 10 years to make sure that they have the most up-to-date information about the risks and the threats that these species are facing. If you're interested in learning more about the completed research, just visit our WUSA 9 app or WUSA9.com.